Boy, it's going heavy. <laughs> On the last episode, we had to restart our journey from Windhoek. Oh, yeah. It feels so good. We decided to hitchhike as much as we could to get to Ashakati where we stopped cycling before we left to Indonesia. We got rides, made friends, saw giraffes, and we had to do some chats with locals to see how we could get our next rides. And yes, I did a sketch. And in the end, did we made to Ashakati? My name is Luis. And I'm Anissa. And we are riding bicycles, sketching and enjoying the journey around the world. Join us on our adventure as we try to go from Namibia to Portugal along the West African coast. We made it to Ashakato yesterday, but it was really night so I couldn't record anything. We slept in this house. It's a friend of ours that does warm showers. The, she likes to help other cyclists. Good morning. Good morning. The mountain is on fire. Once we settled, we asked Tanya if she could bring us to Angola Consulate so we could arrange our visas. The last stress-free way is to do the visa online. Print your visa approval email and pay 120 US dollars at the border. But Anisa didn't got her visa approved. And for some reason this became a better choice, since each of us had to pay 70 US dollars instead of the 120 US dollars. The inconvenient side, we had to go three times to Angola Consulate, make payments on the bank and wait patiently for three working days. So meanwhile, we mingle with people living around us. We saw how they cook their typical local food, spinach with porridge, and I did a sketch of our place. We are still in Oshakati waiting to do our visa so we can get to Angola and today I decided to sketch the place we are staying. This is my setup, if you want to know, I'm gonna put the chair here, I will have this view and I'm gonna use Hanyemula sketchbook, uh, this is actually the first sketch that I did. This is Tanya. Uh, the owner that I sketched yesterday and I'm thinking to sketch in this area, in this page. Here I am, this is the view. Um, I'm seated and I'm watching all uh, these houses. And when I started to sketch, I decided to go to the roof since it was the biggest shape that I had. This is the end of the painting. I, I just did more details in the end to bring that contrast and since I'm doing with the paint. Just a quick reminder that if you want to support these kind of videos join me on patreon.com world sketching tour. Over there I'm sharing postcards, I'm sharing high quality sketches, I'm giving away uh, all the knowledge that I have during these years by sketching. So join me on Patreon. While hanging with Tanya, we talked about our interest on seeing the wildlife in Etosha National Park. Because bicycles are not allowed inside the park, Tanya let us use one of her trucks to go there. We happily accepted her offer and we took one easy ride along the B1 road direction to Etosha National Park. excitement was high on being inside the park. It was on this road we begin to wonder when we would have the first sight of wildlife. It was great to see so many different animals. Most of them it was our first time seeing like this. Seeing them gave us a good feeling that animals actually live happily now. 
they are not anymore struggling from the recent drought looking for water holes. The fear that sometimes we create as we see these animals, such as lions, somehow it can be a mutual feeling. They also fear us, as we aren't one of their kind. We kept experiencing animal encounters on the way to the campsite. It was a memorable beginning in the park that grew our expectations for the next day. The day just started, but it's very cloudy and hopefully it's gonna open. The camping is quite okay. You have good shower, place to have water, lots of green area to pitch your tent. It has electricity as well, light. So it's a proper camping, but it costs a fortune. And our tent is over here, just waiting to get dry. It's almost done, almost done. And then we are ready to go. The excitement woke us up really early in the morning, anxious to see more wild animals. The plan today is to, to go around the park, do as much as we can, because we have the full day until 4.30 to enjoy and, and see what is going to happen. Yet, the enthusiasm we created slowly fade away as we just went around the national park. During the whole day, we searched to see leopards, rhinos, elephants, and however we still saw animals, it felt we were on the wrong path. We had two more hours to enjoy the park, and surprisingly, the richness of the national park came to us. As we drove back to the North Gate, we saw groups of elephants in such natural scenery. They were as we imagined, powerful and silent. Then in here there is the giraffe drinking. It was the wild nature like we used to see on TV. This is our first time watching these boys together. You cannot imagine how happy we are watching them. They really don't care about us, they're just on their own. The elephants. Now I'm happy, but then if they get closer, I'm afraid to be honest. If they decided to run against us, we would be finished. One full day in their world was enough to remind us that we should respect their space, no matter how big or small they are. Etosha National Park became the best safari experience that both of us had, and the dream came true. With all these magical moments, we are ready to say hello to Angola. If you want to see what happens next, join us on Patreon and you will have access to new episodes now. If you feel that you can give a bit more, there are high quality sketches and postcards that we send every month. Your support and encouragement is greatly appreciated.